So in this video, let's talk about getting ketones from nitriles and you also could get aldehydes from nitriles, okay? So if I take, you know, acetonitrile, okay? If I take, a, not acetonitrile, I would take benzonitrile and I add uh, dibol, okay? Dibol, diisoaluminum hydride, okay? You'll usually see it written as that. If you're curious about the structure, it looks something like this, okay? It's aluminum bonded in, in the middle, I have a hydrogen atom. Okay, so if I take a nitrile and dibol, I get the aldehyde. Okay, I get the aldehyde. So that's, so that's pretty straightforward. Again, if I take acetonitrile, okay, and I add dibol, I get the, the aldehyde, so I get the CH3C. The one H. Okay. Now, for the ketones, it so happens that if I take acetonitrile, and I'm just using acetone, uh, benzonitrile as an example. Okay, if I take benzonitrile and I take this and add any lithium chemistry or any Grignard chemistry, I'll create the ketone. Okay. So I'll create a ketone. So notice that I'm, I'm actually adding a carbon, okay? And my ketone is on the, the, the nitrile carbon, okay? Carbonyl is on the nitrile carbon. So with that being said, let's take a, take a look at the mechanism for how this happens. So in solution, okay, I will see the nitrile. My carbon is partially positive. My nitrogen is partially negative. So if I take ethyl magnesium bromide it's 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 carbon is nucleophilic so it's going to tap the carbon nitrile and move these electrons on the nitrogen okay now once that happens okay i have a carbon that's double bonded to a nitrogen okay so i have a carbon that's double bonded to a nitrogen and the nitrogen is now negatively charged Okay, so our nitrogen is now negatively charged. Our nitrogen is now, is now negatively charged because remember, initially it had a lone pair here. So the nitrogen is now negatively charged. And what it's actually going to do is that acid is going to come in. So H3O plus. Okay, acid is going to come in, grab a hydrogen, the nitrogen, grab a hydrogen, and reform water in solution. And so we'll get back neutrality of the molecule. And so we have a double bond to a nitrogen with a hydrogen and this R group here, okay? Now in the next step, uh, and, you know, it, it, what, what do you guys think will happen in the next step? Okay. In the next step, acid is gonna come in, okay? And nitrogen still have these two lone pairs on it, so it's gonna grab another hydrogen, okay? And so we form this. We form a nitrogen that's double bonded. Uh, and it has two hydrogens. That means nitrogen four bonds, automatic plus charge. Okay. Now, once again, it's plus charge. Remember, we just form water in solution. So water is going to come in and act as a nucleophile. Okay. So what's going to end up doing is going to attack the carbon contained in the nitrogen. And it's going to put those pi electrons and form flow pairs. Okay. And once that happens, we're going to come to a structure that looks something like this. We have this carbon here that's now bonded to a nitrogen with two hydrogens. Okay, so that's neutral. But we have the oxygen that has two hydrogens. Okay, so that's a plus one formal charge, and we still have our R group. Okay, now what do you guys think will happen in the next step? Okay, the molecule is actually going to become neutral. So water is going to come in again and reform acid. So it's going to take one of these protons off the oxygen and give the oxygen those electrons in the form of lone pairs. Okay, so this is what we'll get. We'll get our NH2 get our neutral alcohol okay and we have a neutral product okay 
Now, what do you guys think will happen in the next step? Remember, these nitrogen, this nitrogen has a, a pair of lone pair on it, okay? So what will end up happening is that this is going to seek a hydrogen from acid. Okay, we just reformed acid in the in the prior step. So it's going to seek a, a, a electron, a, a hydrogen in fr from acid, okay? Because it's a poor leaving group, okay? So it grabs a hydrogen and... Uh, uh, acid, so this is acid, I'm sorry about that. That should not be water. So it grabs the hydrogen from the acid and reform water in solution. And so this is what we come to. Okay, we got a nitrogen now that has three bonds. Okay, four bonds actually. So it's a plus one formal charge. We still have our oxygen. And we have this R group here. Now, let me redraw the structure. Okay. So we have the nitrogen that has now four bonds, so it's automatic plus charge. We have an alcohol, and we have, the R, we have this R group here. So in the last step of the mechanism, remember we have a bond here. And H3 now is a very good leaving group. So what end up going to happen is that these single bond is going to come in and form a double bond and expel the NH3 atom. Okay. And so that being said, we get our ketone. Okay, we get our ketone plus NH3. Okay. So that is the way of using the uh, lithium chemistry or magnesium bro or uh, grenade chemistry. We form ketones from nitriles. And also we get aldehyde from dibald. Okay, now it's very important. We use typically run these in acid. So that's something I did not state initially. Okay, so we run lithium chemistry and magnesium chemistry in acid. And so this is where the acid came from in the second step.